There goes my clutch. Okay, so when I went to start my car this morning, it wouldn't start. Uh, the clutch has no resistance whatsoever. It feels completely disconnected. There's, there's, there's nothing. There's no tension at all. So, right here with Luke, upon closer inspection, I found there is absolutely no fluid in here at all. So I definitely have a leak somewhere. Now it's a matter of replacing this and figuring this out. Fun times, fun times. Mm. Must be. Must be. <laughs> it's like driving the Alpha again. <laughs> All right. And we're going. That is difficult. Here. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Wait, let me try. Well, you got me out here too. And just left the wheel turned. Oh, that's a lot better, yeah. <laughs> Should have done that in the first place. <laughs> I wouldn't even go off the, off the, that's perfect legal line. I wouldn't even go off the thing into Bill's yard. Okay. No power steering life. It's just like driving the Alpha. Nope. This thing is really on there. As you can see the wrench. We got it on there. Check out my hand. So uh, we, we're trying to trying to get that off. I guess we're gonna WD-40 it up. Key sauce. All right, guys. So this is really, really on there. We uh, we WD-40 the the heck out of it. So now we're gonna have some tamales and uh, wait for that to happen. Once we can take it out, we're gonna go to AutoZone, buy another one, shove it in. I think we might have brake fluid, but <laughs> I definitely need more because like I showed you earlier, this is just completely empty. There's nothing in there, so this will be fun. Hopefully nothing goes wrong, as is the usual for East County Garage, but uh, I'm feeling good about this. Once we get that out, it's pretty straightforward. So, this should work out well. Kind of as Kyle is here because he did this before. He's the he's the pro. You're stuck with me, man. Yeah, I'm just stuck with Luke. Getting in my face as usual. So we finally broke the, the bolt so we can actually get it off now. That took what, like 10 minutes, maybe more? So It's very moist. Yeah, we WD-40 the heck out of it, plus there's brake fluid all over the place. And you can see we're just uh, unbolting there. <laughs> I'm like doing an ab exercise right now. Oh yeah. Here we go. No, I'm not doing an ab exercise. I'm like trying, like, trying to record in your head. <laughs> I'll just keep like hitting your head in tons of different places. <laughs> it looks like... All right, so that's the bottom bolt. Now we just got to figure out the top bolt. Put and after, back on again. And after that, we got uh, the actual line itself to take off. So we're a third done, but that's usually the hardest one. So it always on here in the rice okay. aisle. We got our we got our brake fluid, and then we're gonna get our slave cylinder. But while we're here, look at those Maserati uh, side vents. Nice yeah, stick on badges. Expensive. Real look at this, dude. Bling. You should put that on your car. You no. should put these on your car. I don't think so. The dazzle dice. I like that this has like different ring colors you can put on. Look at this big bulky ship knob. That's yeah, dude, that JDM is. as fuck. Look, this is the automatic one. Put that in a manual. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna just pray that they have what I need. We finally broke it, so now we're just using the 12 millimeter socket to get the top bolt out. Next, we're just gonna need a 10 millimeter. Uh, to get the the line itself out and then it's out and we just got to put the new one on 
and fill it up with fluid. Sounds good. Okay, so we've got both bolts out now. And uh, I got my 10 millimeter uh, wrench. And I just gotta get it onto the line to get it off. And it seems like it's not fitting. I thought it, I thought it was 10. Oh yeah, it's 10. Oh, it's really hard to... It's moving the entire cylinder. Maybe we should have done this before we did one of the bolts. Alright, so we, uh, we got it out. Now, if you're doing this at home, you would probably have had to bleed it first. Uh, but we didn't have to because it was completely empty. But... Wow, this thing is grody. But if you don't have to bleed it for some reason, or you don't have to take the line out first, do it anyways, because that was miserable. It was. Whew. It's out, where's the other part? We, we disassembled it in the process. But, uh... It's all out. We done it. Now what? Now, we put the new one in. Alright, that's it for tonight. Tomorrow morning, I will bleed it, and hopefully, it should be good to go. We got the new slave on there, nice and shiny. Everything's back and hooked up. So assuming I uh, bleed it all out and put our fluid in there, I think I'll be good, and my car will be up and running once more. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help, Luciano. Yeah. Can you see that breath? Stallion. A little bit, like over here. All right, guys, that's it. We're done. No more. The end.